The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages was a game released in 2001 for the Game Boy Color. It was released beside The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons, and while I'm not talking about that game, I will be talking about Oracle of Ages. The Oracle of Ages, while being a more solid game than Link's Awakening, as in having fewer glitches, still has more glitches than Oracle of Seasons. So in this video, I will be going over three of the four known glitches in the game, so let's jump right in. So let's start with possibly the easiest and quickest glitch to perform, the Mailman's House glitch. In order to perform this glitch, you must be in the past, then go to the Mailman's House in Lena Village. Once there, go to the bookshelf and you can grab the sprite for it and throw it using the power bracelet, or slash it with the level 2 sword. You can also enter into another room, which is Rafton's house, and once you're there, you're stuck. So the only thing to do now is reset the game. There really isn't too much you can do with this glitch, so it's almost entirely useless unless you just want to see the glitched bookshelf. The second glitch I'll talk about is also a fairly simple one. It's where you stand on chest. To perform this glitch, you can go, for example, to Moonlit Grotto, and where these two poles voice are, stand on the green tile and defeat them by using the Harp of Ages. This is a pretty simple glitch, and it is actually something you may come across by accident. The only drawback to this glitch is that you will have had to not get to that particular item, so if you already completed the game, you can't actually perform this glitch. But other than that, that's really all there is to say for this glitch. Now we come to our final glitch, which is known as the warp glitch, where if you interact with something that'll have a text box appear and leave on that exact same frame, you'll be teleported into a different area. You can perform this glitch in many places, most notably at the entrance of the mermaid's cave. To perform this glitch, shoot the mystery seeds at the owl statue, and when its text box appears, leave the cave. This is easier said than done. To leave on the exact frame as the text box appears is quite difficult, but it is possible. Once you access this area, it'll be in the past, even though you should technically be in the present, and you're stuck. To leave, you have to play the Harp of Ages. Once you're in the present, you'll notice that you're out of bounds. There's mostly a grassy plane with a weird black X on each screen. There are very few times you'll actually encounter something, like the screen, which really has no purpose, as well as the Maku Tree. Yeah, one thing I really need to mention is that some cave areas or just areas in general that aren't on the map can usually be found here. Something interesting about the map as well is that if you walk northward, you'll reappear at the southern part of the map. You can also hop into the northwest corner of the map, which will look slightly glitched out. I recommend not doing this because when you get in the main area, there's a high possibility of getting stuck. And what I mean by that is that if you hop into any other part of the map or if you miss this exact particular location, you will have to reset the game because there would be no way to get out. Also, another strange thing to note is that uh, when you perform this glitch and you look on the map, it'll clearly show where you appear outside of the map, but when you press on the area to get information, it'll say that you're in some random city or wherever. In the present, there really isn't too much to explore. In the past, there really isn't either. I mean, you can come across this one area that kind of looks like the Black Tower, except it has an excess of doors, um, and it just overall kind of looks weird. But besides that, that's really all there is to this. However, one thing I need to mention about this glitch is that there's actually another method to it. This glitch, albeit being at a different place, uses about the same method, However, it is much more restricted than the other version. If you go to the outhouse in Lana Village in the past, push the pot down the hole and on the same frame of the text box appears, leave. This is also extremely hard to do, but once you actually do it, you'll be at the old man's room in the present, instead of exiting. There really is no point for using this glitch because you can't even explore any other areas, and once you leave the area, you'll be stuck in a tree. Also, there is one more notable glitch in this game, where if you go to Rafton's house and launch yourself onto the raft using a bomb, once you're on the raft you should be blinking, however I haven't been able to do this. So either this glitch doesn't work, or I just suck at the game. Oh, I see you're still here. So to conclude this episode, uh, we basically saw the three of the four main glitches in The Legends of the Oracle of Ages. Uh, and that's really all there is to say, to be honest. And many times it's interesting seeing the, the extent of glitches in some video games. Unfortunately, The Legend of Zelda World of Ages wasn't as extensive as, per se, Link's Awakening. But that's essentially all there is to say about this particular subject. On the other hand, I've been inactive on my YouTube channel for well over a year. Uh, why? Uh, one, lack of motivation, creativity, and also I don't really want to make as many uh, gaming videos, or videos related to gaming. I'm more interested in like music, art, 
history that I'll... I've actually had this video in planning since August 2019, but I've only finished it in... Uh, now as the time of recording this, September of 2020. So, it was mainly due to procrastination as for not uh, being able to release it in, uh, within like a month or whatever. But yeah, I decided to finish the video because... I mean, what else am I gonna do during quarantine because, you know, the coronavirus and all that stuff. So yeah, that's really all there is to say about this, so see you in the next video.